Hello, long time no see. Well, it's only been a week. I hope you liked my shirt, wrong notes only. I believe this became a thing when someone sent Dave Pollock a two page critique of one of his gigs with Ryan Devlin. <laughs> It was pretty ridiculous, but Dave made a pretty funny video about it. And now you can get this glorious shirt from his website. Thank you, Dave, for this awesome shirt. Okay, anyway, Sayo sent me some mouthpieces. I have no idea what's in here. All I know is that this is the upgraded material that they started releasing not too long ago. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Here's a knife. Oh, it's been a long time. No, no, this takes forever to edit. It is the end of the knife scenes, I'm sorry. You've had a good run. Oh, wow. Two giant Sayos pouches. Ooh, look at this. I've never seen them this big. This is literally bigger than my hand. So let's open, let's see what's going on here. Ah, ooh, we got multiple colors here. Oh, wow, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Spark, this is quite interesting. Look what's going on here with the baffle. Huh. I wonder how this will sound. So let's go ahead and put this aside for now. All right, next one. Put our hand in the mystery box. Ooh, beautiful. Man, I really like the new design. It looks, whoa, steady. Very steady. Oh my God, so stable and stabilization and steady. Does the ligature come with it? No, it did not. But we do have a mouthpiece cap. Very, very incredible. All right, we'll put this right next to it. And let's see this last one. Oh man, these new colors are really beautiful. Smoky, oh, smoky, subtone, like you know what I mean? Wow, very nice. I think I love it. Actually, I do love it. Alrighty, next one. Whoa, 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 whoa. She sent me tenor ones. I've never tried Sayos on tenor still. Okay, so not expecting that. Okay, so we have some tenor Sayoses. So it looks like these are just all the same ones, but absolutely beautiful, regardless of alto or tenor. All right, so before I try these mouthpieces, I thought I should try out my main mouthpiece first. This is the Meyer 6M, refaced by Thomas Acciato, paired with the Boston Sack Shop Gold Stippled Ligature. Now, of course, equipment doesn't matter, but it's just, it's really fun to geek out and nerd about it. It's the same with, like, gaming laptops. Of course, buying the new laptop's not gonna make you the best Fortnite player in the world, but the laptop just looks cool, you just want it. So that's my philosophy with mouthpieces. <laughs> Now, I've tried to unreface Meyer 6. I personally didn't like it that much. But refaced by Thomas Acciato, it's like a completely different mouthpiece. I let Brandon Suarez try it, and he tried to bite it off of me immediately. I was like, no. All right, let's go ahead and try our first Sayos mouthpiece. All right. Can't look. Ah. This is the one with that funky baffle. Let's see how it sounds. Oh my god, what? This packs some power, bro. Huh. It's really free-blowing. I'd say it's even more free-blowing than my Meyer. The mid to low register just is so effortless. It gets a little weird up there for me though. But a little bit of adjustment can fix that. This is a pretty nice mouthpiece. Huh. Can't wait to see how they compare to the others. All right, let's try the next one. Ah, oh, we got the steady, pretty standard baffle here. It's slightly shorter. I only have this orange ligature here, so let's try it with the orange ligature.
Okay, so this is a bit more mellow. I'd say this is a more of an intimate mouthpiece. If you're trying to be a little more soft, but kind of, uh, it's less in your face. Uh. It also seems to be more balanced across all the registers. <laughs> Okay, so with the exact same read, it seems like it's just getting harder and harder to approach that upper register. But this read is a little thin. I have no doubt that with a slightly thicker read, this could adapt pretty well. But I got the general gist of this mount pace. Seems to be a lot more balanced, a lot less abrasive and in your face. This is a nice balanced jazz mount piece. This is, man, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. Let's go ahead and try the blue one. Here we are, another standard baffle. This one's even shorter than the white one. Are you sure this isn't a soprano mouthpiece? Ha 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 ha. I'm joking. Wow. Huh. Man, honestly, of all the mouthpieces, this one least feels like a 3D mouthpiece. The sound that I'm hearing when I'm playing this sounds like just any other hard rubber mouthpiece. Man, Sayos. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I would say this one's my most favorite. I can get that projection and I can get that subtle ah. You know, the more delicate ballad-like stuff. You know what I mean? Huh. Huh. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alrighty, well that concludes the video. That blue Sios is certainly something else. The white high notes are just, I, I don't feel like dealing with it. And the orange one is just too abrasive for me. It's very, just in your face. But that blue one, it kind of sounds like mine, but a little more thick. Thick with the two Qs at the end. I'm gonna have to give that one some more serious play trials. Because I really do love the idea of a colored mouth face. I mean, come on. That's so cool. So I'll do the tenor video with some friends when I'm back in Miami. Because virtual school sucks. But I get it. I get it. It's necessary. Well, thank you for 153,000 subscribers. That means the world to me. Have a good day.